Hey, what's up? Welcome to Pop Lock. Today, I'd like to share with you how I clean my dog's teeth. No. There are games and toys you can use to clean their teeth too. For example, one of these ropes. I'm going to make it into two different episodes. First episode is a more of a fun way. I use a rope toy to clean my dog's teeth. You can use the toy to play tug with your dog. While your dog's tugging with you, they're actually cleaning their teeth. Just like, you know, if you have a piece of cloth, you're rubbing against your teeth all the time in and out. I can get my dogs to tuck with each other and I can take them out for a walk that way. I call it the tuck walk. I'll show you how it's done. Now I got them on the tuck and we go for a walk. They're kind of holding hands. That's what I call the tuck walk. So I just keep walking. And they keep tugging. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. This is how I can walk my dog. Come on. This to a tug all day long. So instead of using a lead, I'm walking my dog like this. Come on, come on, my ball. And they will just tug, tug, tug. And that rope, you know how sometimes people, people buy products that you put on your finger and it's made of cotton or something like that and you rub against their teeth? Uh, obviously, if you use a, teeth, a toothbrush, you will clean their tooth more so thoroughly, but it's harder to clean inside of their teeth. But this way, when they play, they're actually um, rubbing their teeth against that rope. So, you know, they get a good workout, they tuck, they play. I clean their teeth. I clean without actually cleaning it. But obviously, I'm not saying this can replace electronic toothbrush. I'm just saying this is good for cleaning their teeth. Come on now, Bobo. This way, Chi Chi, pour, pour over. Vinci is not uh, uh, too aggressive or too possessive, so there's no way Ember can tuck against Vinci. By strength, no way. But usually, Venture will just let her do what she wants. He's, he's a gentleman. Ember is not a lady though. <laughs> I wouldn't describe Ember as a lady. But, but Venture definitely is a gentleman. Uh, see, see that growl? Uh, Ember is way more possessive. Once Venture get hold of the rope, he just hold on to it. He doesn't pull, he doesn't really do a lot. He's just kind of gently tugging. If Venture wants to tug, like, if Vinci wants to possess it, Ember won't have the, won't have the rope. Vinci will be way too strong. Yeah. yeah, listen to the growling. You know who is the possessed, who is the dominant one here. And Vinci just gently stroke. And, and <laughs> gently grab the rope and then keep going. Yeah, sometimes I walk my dog like this. I don't think I've shown you guys this on video before. But you know, I'm walking like I start from way over there as we talk for the last two minutes. I'm over here now. I can jog. If I jog now, the camera will be too shaky. But I can jog like this. And you know how Vinci as a kind of causal, he's always very attached to me. So wherever I go, he just follows. 
If I stop, I show you guys. If I stop, you will find that Venture doesn't actually pull her anywhere except just towards me. And then he stops. You see? You see? This is a kind of corso. This is a close, close quarter guardian kind of corso. Whoa, bang! Um, Ember will take off. Venture will still stay with me. So what happens if I jog? Then Venture will jog with me while holding onto the rope, and Ember will just get dragged along. They will tuck uh, much more vigorously. And we just run and run and run. And also I can uh, hang the rope toy on a tree and my dogs can pull it from a tree. That's the best workout a dog can get. And that's also a good way to clean their teeth. I, I hook this up the tree and use this knot just st stuck in between here. So you can see I do this a lot. I actually work this out. That's it. This is the uh, almost entire body workout for a dog. She pulls, she's using her hind legs, her thigh, her back, shoulder, jaw, her neck muscle. Right. Too close to camera. Yeah. It's really strong. If it wasn't a tree, if she's pulling me, I wouldn't be able to resist. She can pull me to the ground. She's only about 27 kilos, I think. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Good girl, come on. Good girl. Ha ha. <laughs> Benji's guy is on stick. Benji's, Benji's killing the tiny baby brunch. Benji! Oh, you killed it! You killed it! <laughs> Benji is trying to finish the job. Benji's trying Benji's finishing the job. I'm not Benji. <laughs> Good job, Benji! Good job, Benji! You beat the stick! You beat the small branch! Ember is getting a good work out there. Benji is uh, cleaning his teeth in a different way. <laughs> How about moss? Yeah, give those a teeth a good clean. Give those, give those a teeth a good clean. Rah, rah, rah. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy, Chichi! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy, Venchi! Good boy! Good boy! Clean, clean, clean. Chew, chew, chew. Clean, clean, clean. Chew, chew, chew. Oh. Whoa, ha. <laughs> Look at that claw. Look at that claw. Oh my goodness. You don't want to be that tree. Here we go, here we go. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Boom! Vinci, boom! Good boy. <laughs> Benji, are you like uh, biting a pussifier? You look like you're biting a pussifier. She's no longer pulling, she's just chewing and cleaning her teeth. Basically ripping it apart using her back teeth. So right now it's like she's using the back of her teeth. You can see if I do that to her, there's no growling, nothing. I don't want to put my hand in there because I don't want her to bite me, bite me by accident. But you should be able to do this when your dog's playing. You don't want your dog to possess anything over you. Like, you know, she can have fun and it should be safe for you and your family, whatever she's doing. I can put my hand here. I don't want to put my hand in the mouth, obviously. But you should, you, you should have peace with your dog all the time and toy, food, any, or anything like that shouldn't be more important than you. So, okay, I, I say a lot about, sh a lot of should, but exactly what I meant is, you gotta have a good structure in the family, love your dog, treat them well, uh, make sure they trust you and all that, but make sure they also understand uh, you do a lot of training, so they understand that your command means absolute. Um, it means action. Whatever you say, there should be action next, next to it. Right. Ember, Ember, are you cleaning your teeth with your grass? Hello. Ember, come get it. Get it. Get it. So she's like going nuts again. But if I want her to let go, um, I should be able to make her let go. Ember, empty. Empty. Ember, empty. Good girl. And that should be the end of it, you know? Good girl, Baba. And Vinci's having a bit of fun doing it, doing it the Vinci style. I mean, I, I've got to have the calmest kind of corso in the world. What do you guys reckon? Is he the calmest kind of corso or what? He's playing, but he doesn't do a lot of tugging, so he's a bit clumsy. Um, it's not like he can't improve though. When Ember first started biting the rope, she was kind of similar. She missed, she missed a lot. Like she tried to jump up and grab it and she missed a lot. This is only like the beginning. Venchi never really tried this. I never let him try this much. But um, he's not a highly driven dog. Like there was some sound, there's a car moving. Then he started to look at the car. Everything is more important than a toy. He's not like, he's not driven by food or toy as much as Ember does. Uh, that makes him a bit harder to train. It's not just, you know, he's, he's not gonna be a police dog or military dog. But it makes him a very, very good pet. Uh, low energy, calm, safe, you know. To me, depending on what you want a dog for, I have a dog for pet. And where I live in Christchurch, New Zealand, I don't even need protection. Touch wood. But, you know, I don't need a kind of corso to protect me, per se. So, I, I, it's more important that my dog has good temperament. He doesn't, he's not dangerous to toddlers in my house. My my mother in her seventies, you know, just a very good companion in the house. That's what I want a carne corso for. So if you guys look at my previous videos, one of the criteria for me to pick a corso is low energy. That's the reason. Um, just good temperament, low energy, easy to maintain. They don't go ballistic in the house and knock a child over and cause any concussion or long term injuries. Amber is higher energy, but she is not in the house. She's quite calm in the house. So that's a fun way to clean your dog's teeth and have fun with them, play with them, exercise them and bond with them. But if you want to keep your dog's teeth very clean, the only way to do it is actually brush your dog's teeth. Uh, I use an electronic toothbrush. The, I think the difficult part is how to train your dog to allow you to clean their teeth. Stay tuned. Next episode, I will teach you how to train your dog to clean your teeth. I mean, I will teach you to train your dog to let you clean their teeth. See you next time. <laughs>
Ben ci iscrivi, sono stick.